Just getting set up to go on a little jay and do another fishing adventure. Today we're going to be going on kayaks. And right off the bat I look and uh, Granum Caddis ends up on my new canoe seat. Today's a little different than our last couple trips out to the Little J. Today we're going to be fishing out of our kayaks. These are actually called New Canoes, a company that came out with a hybrid kayak that is uh, very nice to fish off. You can stand on them on slow water and cast and they're very stable and that's what we're looking for when we're, when we're out on the water. Give you guys a quick look at what we're fishing with today. All three of us are going to be fishing with the top fly. Uh, my top fly happened to be a sulfur variation with lively legs. When we come down my line, I have a dropper at about 12 inches, and it is a hare's ear variation. Get over here and see what Mike has on. Looked like a pretty fish. Jumped before I got it on video. Good crowd. Like a ton of bricks. I thought it was going to be a big one, but I don't think so. Been a bad trout. There we go. Come over here and oh, I'm very surprised by this. These first one I caught on the sulfur nymph, which would be my big top fly, and that's a size 12. See if you guys get a good look at that. It has a pheasant tail, a sulfur body with our lively legs, yellow legs. And uh, that's a very beautiful fish. That's probably a 14, 15 inch trout. We're definitely seeing some caddis in here now, but we haven't seen any fish rise. So we're gonna just keep fishing nymphs and um, hopefully we start getting some top water action here in a little bit. If not, it's gonna be a nymph day. Little olive. See why the little wall of nymphs were working. Mike flipped over a rock and look at how all of these things are. Well, it looks like it's gonna be time to put the nymphs away soon. The hatch has come off. What time is it, Big Shrive? We'll get a time check. It's the most caddis we've seen all day. They're starting to come off now. 9.50. 9.50 a.m. We have some rain coming in probably around two o'clock, so hopefully we can Find some fish that are hitting the surface now and start catching some on some dries. Seen a couple fish rise and looked downstream and we saw a slower pool where a lot were rising. Came over, hooked the GoPro up, gonna shoot on down to the next spot and see if we can't get Mike hooking up with some fish on some dry flies now. Mike just hooked up with the first top water action. And as you can see in the background, we have fish surfacing all around us. If we get this fish in, we'll see what he hit and get a little underwater footage of him taking off. Hey, there he is. Little tan caddis. Mike's into some risers. He came down here, saw some rising, as you can see, beyond his uh, line. And he had just hooked up with a nice one. He took that first, first cast. Well, that is a nice one, Mike. He does not want to come in. To the net. Oh yeah! I think it's called the adopsal fin. Look at the red on that adopsal fin. That is one beautiful wild brown trout. And 
there it goes. Nice fish, Mike. We got one to beat now. You see that up there in a the tree? That's what you call the bug music. All those bugs. A long time ago, my dad told me when you get out on a stream, <laughs> Mike just missed one, and you have a lot of bugs like that around, you can actually hear them. You can hear them making some music. All right, Ben hooked up with another. Oh yeah, it didn't take long uh, after we got out of that spot where they stopped hitting on the drive flies. Started nymphing again. Mike probably caught about three or four more. And then uh, this first one I've hooked up with since. I'm curious to what he hit. Man, you want to talk about a fly in a trout's mouth. He hit my top fly, and that's just a basic hair, hair variation with the lively legs, the dark brown ones. And um, he hit it, he took it the whole way down in his throat. And look at that blue. That's unique, but beautiful fish. Little peepster, get him back in the water. Amber colored, huh? All kinds. Multi colored. Deal. Yeah. Get a release. See a guy pulling a fish in. I'm going to get down on the knee and I'm going to show you guys something. We stopped to fish this hole. And I'm going to show you a good indication that there are fish here. Look in this tree out here. We can find it. We have an osprey sitting in it. A little while ago, he came down into the water. He grabbed the fish. He headed back up there. He ate it up. Didn't get it on video, but looks like he's getting ready to do a little more fishing here in a minute. Got another nice one on here. It's like a nice size trout. There he is. Another nice hook up for the olive. Big try with another one. Didn't take long, look back down, and the big shrive has another one hooked. This one looks a little more meaty, so I'm gonna get down there with the net. Nice one, shrive. First rainbow of the day. Big try with another one on. It's having a little real malfunctions up here. Yeah. Yes, Rob, we're gonna have to name this spot Big Andy Spot. Sitting here, this is Andy's second year fly fishing, and uh, he's really made leaps and bounds in his technique. And he just sat here and I watched him pull in at least eight or nine fish from this one spot. I like he's got that big one in there. That's got, that pheasant tail again. We got uh, lucky on this one last week. There's a big fisherman and his fish. I mean, I haven't released one in a while. This feels good. Taking a little lunch break, I'm going to show you guys the kayak we're using. This is a new canoe, Frontier. Mike has a 10-footer. Come over here. I have the 12-foot. Big trash, relax, and check those seats out. Elevated. 
We've had a lot of rocky water so far. I haven't even felt this was going to tip one time. And when you do go into the slower water, you can actually stand up on these things. Here we go. Well, I'm going to try to do a little bit of it myself here. Let me get this one to the boot. Yep, there's another one with the, my little olive variation with the yellow head. Let him take out your line, Andy. The big tribe just hooked up with a lunker. Hey, Mike, I may need you to hold my pole while I net it. No, I may need you to hold my pole while I net it because I'm going to hold the camera and net it. It's a nice fish. That's got some pole bend to it, Shrivester. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, it sounds like crap. Worm up. Go, go, gadget arm up. Adam. Good deal, good deal, good job, Shrive. That's a nice one. Oh, my phone. Can you make picture of your phone? Ten bucks. <laughs> okay, just got another nice fish hooked up. We've been catching a lot of nice rainbows as well today. What happened was Mike and I both had dropped our cameras in the water today. So now we're going to do our final clip with the GoPro since we don't have any options for a video camera. So. We're going to make this the final fish of the day, even though we have hours left to fish it. Let me see if we can get it to the boat. Pretty nice sized rainbow. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Good job. There he is. Nice plunker, 17 inch-ish rainbow. Hook in the corner of his mouth here. Well, he's still full energy. You can see there's a the little pheasant tail. goes. Should be the last one of the day since we don't have cameras anymore. <laughs> <laughs>